Hi, and welcome to day 25 of our consecration to St. Joseph. I have with me today my statue of St. Joseph, who has been well-loved, as you can see, by his glue marks around his neck and his chin. We have six children, and they love each one of our statues a little bit too well. But it's a reminder to us to keep our statues in a place where we can be reminded of them. Don't bury those statues, people. Don't do it. Keep them in a place where they can remind you that the saints are with us to protect and defend us, in particular, St. Joseph. I had a moment in my life where I had to step out on my own the very first time I had to buy my own vehicle. I remember walking into that dealership and feeling so nervous, but this peace and calm came over me that I know was from St. Joseph. He kind of almost asked me, let me be your guy. Let me buy that car today with you and for you, and let me help you drive it out of the dealership. And in turn, I felt him asking me, let me be the guy in your life to lead you. And it was in that surrender and in that moment that things began to change in my life. It was just a few days later that I met my now husband. My husband also had the qualities of St. Joseph, particularly the quality of clarity. It used to drive me crazy when we were dating, but my husband kept saying the same line over and over again to give me assurance. Eileen, we're moving forward. Eileen. We're moving forward and now 18 years later we're still moving forward and I feel that still quiet voice of St. Joseph speaking through my spouse as we journey in our own Bethlehem way to follow our star so please keep St. Joseph prominent in your home as a reminder that he's with you too on your journey to Bethlehem